Hi, welcome to the C++ programming tutorial. Um, the last tutorial we we um, looked at methods, how to make a method, how to access a method, how to write a header, a signature, a prototype of a, a method, and how to call it from the main. And then we looked at method overloading. Now we overloaded each one method with just one name, one signature, but it had different parameters. And each different parameter meant the method behaved and done something different. And that's method overloading. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at class. How to create a class. How to make an instance of a class. What is inside a class. What's inside a class is data members. Data. So data comes in integers, floats, <laughs> strings, characters, etc. Um, and so that's the data members. And then you've got methods. Now the methods are methods do things. So the methods will do things with the data within the class. And so you have like get and set methods and other things like that methods. And so that's what we're going to show you. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to this is a wee space here. Um, we're going to create a class and you use the class keyword for it. And then you give the class a name and so we're going to call it first class but a class has to start with a capital letter and so this makes it stand out from other things in the program so capital F first name first class and it's not a method so you don't have brackets and so all you have straight after you have you have the braces the start brace and the end brace and when the class is finished you have semicolons after the class that's key it's different from other languages and so inside the braces is the code for this class and what's going to be in here again is data members and methods and so to declare a data method the default is private I'll double check that though um, so what you do is you do public we're going to access this is just a test one normally you'd make all your data members private for security reasons we're going to make this one public so and public is semicolon this means all the data me members that's declared after this is going to be public until you change the access modifier and so we're going to have an integer called number uh, class number and a capital and that's us declared um, a public um, integer and what we're going to do is we're going to declare we're going to make what we're going to do is we're going to make a constructor. Now a constructor is important, we're going to have a separate tutorial on it. Um, we don't need to use it now, um, we could that still access that integer. But a constructor, when you make an instance of a class, um, sets all the values for the, the members in that class. So each time you do a different instance, it will have a separate copy of this prototype, which a, a class is a prototype. And so what I'm going to do is do the constructor, which is a method, but it starts, it's got the exact same name as a class. And so first class, and then we've got the brackets. Now what the brackets are doing, and you can notice it's changed color because, because it's a method. But what 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 the brackets do is groups code together. So any code within here is going to be executed as soon as you make an instance of a class. And so what we're going to do is give a value to class number. So it's class number equals four four seven. 
and so that's us giving ourselves a fast number. Now we can access this, and so if we come down and we go to main, to make an instance of the class we use the data type. The data type is not integer string, it's the name of the class, so it's first class, and so that's what we type here, first class space and we're going to give it a name so that we can access it. Without the name we wouldn't be able to access it. And semicolon, that's us created an instance of it. It's easier in Java because we're not using the new keyword. And so what we're going to do now, we're going to um, we're going to access this number and so the username that we created um, to call, to access it, so FC and the dot operator accesses the objects within a class. So, and that's the name of the integer. So if we double click that semicolon, we say this is going to to um, access a number, but we're not doing anything with it. So I'm going to save it, compile, and then I'm going to run the program. And we're not doing anything with it, but we have accessed it. and the code is what it would have been before then and so but now we're going to access it we're going to print it to screen so we're going to go c out and fc dot fast number and then we're going to go the line and so now we're going to print it to screen and so if we save what you'll see here is 447 has been printed to screen then that method would um, return um, hello man from test method and then 52 was returned and so so that's proof that it's worked but we're going to change the number just to show you that we've accessed the class and so what we'll do is we'll change this to freeze save compile and run a program and you can see it's 3 for 7 and so what we can also do is we can put another integer or we can put a string and then we can come in here and we can do um, name equals and semicolon so we've, we've assigned a name to this and what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here and instead of printing out 52 was it what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do fc dot you can see it's not got one um, integer in it now it's got many and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do just to show you that this is just to show you that we can access any data members in here and so yeah save and compile see yeah it's just on the old program so I don't know what the NS we are we've done this we've done that string name one string name two it could be that it wants to assign them with values so that's one two three and it's in here oh right I didn't actually access one so we didn't need to do that but what we've got here 
if I do this, we can see that we've got name 1, name 2 and name 3. So what if it's in this class, it's public, you'll be able to access it from an instance, and from the object we've created. And so we'll choose name. Now it's going to print out to screen. And run the program. And Charles has printed out the 52. So, so we're going to go deeper into classes, so that's the first tutorial on it. So again, thank you for your time.